Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoy the content. I'll see you later. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. Uh, this, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I've been busy taking care of some real life stuff, but I figured why not go ahead and talk about my first impressions of Withering Waves. Now, what I mean by first, impre first impressions of Withering Waves, the game's been out for, what, a couple weeks now, I think? I have not played every day. I have not been logging in constantly. I have not done any exploration, really. I've just been I've done a little bit of exploration. Um, I've not done any limited banner pulls. Um, and I had very good luck on my, on my beginner banner, my choice banner, and I used my selector for Verena. It just does a little, little bit of background there. Uh, obviously, I picked female rover, the superior rover, obviously. Um, and she's fucking hot. And uh, currently, right now, the Yin Lin banner just came out. I'm not pulling on the Yin Lin banner. I am saving for Chang Li. Uh, in fact, the stream today is literally called Save for Chang Li, Yin Lin Can't Hurt Us. Because <laughs> it's hard. It's definitely hard not to, uh, not to pull for her. But that's neither here nor there. I just unlocked Havoc Rover, which means I just finished the chapter six story, the current main story in the game. I've not done any, a lot of the side story stuff, and if I have, I'm usually skipping it because I just don't care that much, but I paid attention to the main story. Uh, a couple other things to note, I've played in English, which means you have already, already seen, um, uh, you already know what I'm gonna talk about when it comes to the, 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 the voice acting in the game. The voice direction. I want to make that very clear. The voice direction in the game. I don't have a problem with any of the voice actors personally. Obviously, they're just voice actors doing a job. It's just their voice direction was clearly not, not, not well done. Um, Yang Gang or Yang Yang. I was keep calling her Yang Gang on the stream or Gang Gang. Um, since day one, that's what I've been calling her. So, um, is probably the biggest outlier. And then there were several moments throughout the story where character, where voice actors' natural, like English or British accents came through, and it completely was just, it was like laughable, laughable moments. And uh, yeah, there is, I, honestly, I think it's actually, I, I'm thinking about it now that I'm done, and I'm like, actually, the pacing of the story was actually very good, I think. I feel like it had its highs and its lows at the right times, and it picked up when it needed to, and it slowed down when it needed to. Um, I think initially I was a little like meh on certain parts because of that, but I think looking back retroactively, I've played this story over the course of several days, right? Um, I think it took me like three days of maybe like three or four hours of play to actually get through the story. So it wasn't even really that long, right? And that's me listening to the story and talking in my chat, so getting distracted with certain things. It's really not even that, um, uh, it's not even that long. Uh, however, I, um, so yeah, like I, I right now my 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 initial impression of the main story. So this is my impressions on the main story of the game. Is that it's good. It's actually fairly decent. It's a very decent story, despite the fact that the voice acting in English brings it down a little bit, just because it's hard. To, it's really hard to listen to Yang Yang talk pretty much all the time. Pretty much, and she's like one of the main talkers throughout the entire story, right? But Jian, Jian, his voice acting was absolutely fantastic. I loved every part where he was in the story. I, I enjoyed his story bits. I loved his, the backstory stuff. I loved the iridescent rain. I ended up there's a character in this game that I knew I was going to hate, but I actually ended up liking. Also, I don't I, I don't like that kind of skeevy, smarmy uh, information. It, it's like Sampo and HSR. Right? I don't like those kinds of characters. But Alto, I actually kind of like Alto. I don't know why. His voice is very good, in my opinion. I actually like like his voice. And Encore is obviously just precious and freaking amazing. So, I like Verena. Um, I don't know who Blue Hat, Blue, you know, Hat, Blue Haired Hat Dude is because he just randomly shows up and says nothing and then says like two lines and is like, we believe in you. And I'm like, I don't know who you are. Haven't met you yet. Um, and then Lion Boy also shows up. I have him on my account as well. And it's like, yeah, don't forget the Lion Troop. I don't know who you are. Haven't met you yet. Um, so it's just, um, 
It's just weird. Oh yeah, Scar. My chat is talking about uh, Scar. Scar's voice is amazing in English. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I don't know why people, there's apparently a group of people out there who don't like it. I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, and um, yeah, no, I think I think it's absolutely great. I think I think he's the right amount of kind of whiny. There's like a little bit of whine to his voice, but it's actually like really good. I really like his I like his character. I like the idea of it. Now there were some funny moments like Scar goes to jail. Why is what? <laughs> Um, Yang, Yang Yang realizes this dude's gonna die and then he dies. Like that's, these, these fade to black screens are really weird. Um, uh, the general gameplay. And here's the thing. I think that the biggest, I think the biggest thing about this game right now is you cannot talk about anything of the game without also talking about the gameplay. Because the main story has a different flow of gameplay to it as well. Because they give you access to Jian, they give you access to Jin, uh, Jin, Jin Shin. Um, and so, and and the Lion Boy, a lot. Like they they give you access to various different characters to try throughout the story as you're playing it. You know, Alto and you get Encore. When I got Encore during the fight with the big robot dude, I was like, I was like, oh cool, I get to test her out. I had no idea that her ultimate turned her into a melee character. I was like, damn, I kind of want Encore now. Like she's cool, but I wasn't really interested in her. But now I was like, oh, she comes from a caster to like a fiery main. Like that's cool. That's cool. It's cool. They did a good job of showcasing some of the characters that are on the standard manner and what you could possibly get in the future. And I think the whole last story part of the story quest being you running around with Rover and Jian is a really great way to try to sell the character. They almost got me with that one. I'm not going to lie. He was really cool. He's really fun to play. Um, I will probably pull for him way in the future after Chang Li comes out. I am on that Chang Li train. It is not It is not going anywhere, and I want to express that again and again and again. It is natural to feel um, dreadful at the I'm not going to talk about leaks, but I have seen things. I want this character, not just because of that, but because she is so hot. She is so awesome. I don't know what her personality is yet. I need to know. I, I just need to know. I need to know. I need to know, I need to know more Chang Li. More Chang Li in the story, please. Anyways, the gameplay of the main story is really good. When you get to that last arc when you're running through the Badlands, or the Barrens, or whatever it was called, right? It's... It's... Like I said, there's a little bit of a pa little bit of a pacing issue there, but it's also fine at the same time. And running from place to place, like you doing your mission, and then like you have to guard a place, and then you have a little bit of dialogue. And you fight some more, and you have a dialogue, and fight some more, and you keep moving forward. Honestly, I, at, at the, in the moment, I had issues, but like looking back, I really didn't have that many issues with it. Like it was fine, um, right? Yeah. That's like the best way I can serve. It's like in the moment, it didn't feel quite right. But looking back, it actually feels fine. If that makes sense. Like, I feel like I was being overly critical of it. Um, there are times when the and that's that's really going to say I enjoyed it. I think I think I look back and I'm like, I enjoyed pretty much all of it. Yeah, I had problems with the voice acting. And that's what the voice direction, I should say. The voice direction. I'm going to keep correcting myself on that. Because it's not really the voice actors. Though, obviously, they could have spoke up a little bit in the studio. But at the same time, like, how much power do they really have over their own voice once you're already in the studio? Right? I'm not a voice actor. I don't know. You know, if you think you did a bad line read. But the voice director is like, nah, it's fine. Keep going. You're gonna, What are you going to do? Say no? Right? Um, it, it, you can only do that so many times. And I think I think they messed up telling everybody because apparently they hired a British studio or an English studio or whatever, and they told everybody to not use their English accents. But the weird part is every NPC in the game, like every side character, not a main character, has a British or English accent depending on how you want to phrase it. And so it sounds jarring when the main characters don't have accents. <laughs> like, and then they come through every now and then. It's like they're trying to fix their accent just to talk to the rover. It's really weird, and I hate it. And I really wish everybody was just English. Then I wish everybody had an English accent and all this other stuff, right? Like, I like Rover's voice. It can be a little deadpan sometimes, but I'm okay with that. I'm not. I'm not. I don't dislike it. There are certain line reads that could be better, and I'm sure you know which ones. But I think they are fine. Generally, their voices is great. I think generally the voices are fine. It's just. There are issues and it does distract. But when you stop and you look back at the whole picture, not just that part, I think it stands pretty good on its own. And I would give the story like a solid, like seven or eight out of 10. I would have been still down bad for British voices. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, down bad. No, you had it right the first time, Frizz. You had it right the first, down bad. I would have been down bad. 
any woman speaks to me with a with a with with the like that classic British accent, English accent, I my brain just fucking melts. It's just facts. It's just it's just facts. There's a reason like I think it's Bianca and PGR who has who has that, and I'm just I melt every fucking time. I just I, I can't. Okay, I'm some in some ways a stereotypical American in that way. It just we fucking love. I can't. All right. Um. Anyways, uh, I'm getting I digress again. Um. It's a good story. I would give it like a 7 or 8 out of 10 on the scale of story. I think the spectacle of the end, the last fight when you're fighting the Dreamless and the Crownless, and I, which I really liked that. I really liked that the, the very first boss in the game is the Crownless. And like the boss you fight at the end before you fight the big boss, the Dreamless and the Incarnation of War, I'll get to that in a minute, um, is the Crownless again. And you kind of like beat its ass, right? Like you, there's like... There's the harder part, like it's a little bit hard because you're getting used to the mechanics of the fight, and then you fight it again, and it's just like real quick and easy, right? At least it was for me, and I like that um, progression. It shows the character has grown, or you have grown as a player to fight the same fight you fought at the very beginning of the game one more time before you fight the big bad to make sure that you have all the mechanics ready, right? I think that was a good choice, and then when you get to fight the Dreamless. And you get, you know, eventually you during the fight, you unlock Havoc Rover, which is really cool. And I I think it's freaking awesome. She gets a freaking scythe. She has a one wing, you know, start playing the Sephiroth music and just go ham, right? It's it's great. That fight was awesome. Um, It was a musical, visual spectacle. And it was absolutely great. And it, and like, in hindsight, it doesn't lose anything because of weird story stuff. Um... And then the big epic moment where you like absorb everything and then your fluff ball creature thing, your Digimon, I can't remember the name of the Digimon, but it made me think of a specific Digimon. I can't remember right now. I'm not going to worry about it. And he just like absorbs all the food and it's like, I'm hungry. I'm okay. I'm good now. Like, you know, and it just goes back inside your, your thing. Um, it's just, it was cute. Um, and it actually made me genuinely laugh. Not laugh at it. It was a funny moment after a very serious fight with the fate of the city on your shoulders, right? It, it was a v genuinely funny moment of like, what? <laughs> right? Like a, like a what? And you just start laughing. Because like, it's just like, I'm, I'm full. I ate. I'm good. Bye-bye. Me nap now. Right? Like, it's 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 amusing. It's funny. It was cute. Um, and I, I didn't dislike it as one of the best things I could say. Um, we have a lot of, there's a lot of questions at the end, but in a good way, Right? Like, they, they flash through a couple of cutscenes of, like, and then they returned, and they saved the day, and a brilliant light, and blah, 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 and then you're sitting out next to the storyteller, which is literally right to the right, right of my character right now, or left of my character, right of me. Anyways, and I liked, actually, that, and then an ending, and there's no more, right? I think that's good a good stopping point. I think that's a good point, and now I can just go play the rest of the game and enjoy it until the next part of the story comes out, and I think they did a good job, and like I said, it only took me, like, maybe six hours, six or eight hours total. Um... I like it. I like it. I like it. I like the game. I like I like the game. I think the game is um I think the game has issues. I think the game should have if you just want my like quick things, I think the game probably should have cooked for maybe like six six more six months to maybe more of a year just to make you know, just to get a little cover the quick But you know what? They ran out of money, apparently. So they had to make some money, which is why I think the Yinland banner came out sooner, right? Let's just to get into that real quick, you know. That's why I think the Yinland banner came out sooner, because they need to make some money. And you know what? She go she gonna make that money. <laughs> she gonna make that money. Um, I am currently free to play in the game myself. Um, I'm probably not going to stay that way. I just usually don't. I'll probably end up buying a monthly pass or a battle pass here or there or something along those lines or, and get the bonus, the bonus, the bonus, the bonus, um, the first bonuses, first purchase bonuses and things along those lines. But everything is for Chang Li. I want to make that very clear. If there's anything you take from this video is that the main story of the game is quite good. Right? It's quite good. It's, 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 it's good. It's worth playing through. It's good. And I actually kept coming back to play. I was determined to play through it. And it wasn't a slog. And I didn't skip any part of it. However, you know the best thing about it? I could skip all the other shit. I could skip all the side stories I don't care about. If they're not character stories and they're just side blue quests or some other random shit, I could just skip it. I don't care. The game doesn't care that I don't care. Right? The or the game cares that I don't care, is what I should say. It allows me to skip through it. So that's really great. Um, and the third thing is that everything is Changli. Right? Yeah, my chat is talking about, right, she's going to make them that, that money hard. Payment servers were down when her bear first came out because they were overloaded. Yeah, exactly. Like, she's going to make money. Um, it's going to be really sad. I feel bad for Jin Yan because 
I said this when when like when the game I said this to myself. I don't know if I said it on stream or anything. Like when the game first launched, I was like, they released a male character as their first character, and as a dude, I can tell you, they just don't. Oftentimes, male characters do not sell as well as female characters, and it's a weird. You can you you know what? I'm not going to go into it. You can say whatever you want about it. I'm just going to leave it right there. Outside of female characters sell better, they just do. Women like them. Men like them. It just is. We, we, just, we like pretty women. Most people like pretty women. From from straight to gay to bi to, to trans. It doesn't matter. We all like pretty we like pretty women. We like pretty things. We like pretty women. And pretty men are nice too. Don't get me wrong. Gian is a man. However, Yin Lin is woo, right? She even anyways, it was smart of them to go ahead and put the banner out sooner, is all I'm saying. So yeah, that's the things that I I digressed. That's, I digress a lot there, but that's basically what I'm saying. Main story, good. Main character, probably the hottest of the main characters because one, she's actually an adult, actually has a figure to her, has way more voice, may actual way more actual voice lines. Oh my god, I got to talk about that real quick. She has way more actual voice lines than any of the main characters in any of the other like major gacha games right now. Okay, I cannot. <sighs> Even if sometimes the line reads are a little dry. I cannot express enough. Like, yeah, she has the best profile view in Gotcha. Yep, best profile, best straight on side, back, everything. All for some reason, her outfit reminds me of Kaine's from Near. I keep saying this on stream, but like, if you take away the dark colors on the front of her outfit here and turn it the same color as the rest of this, it looks like Kaine. It almost looks like Kaine's outfit. She even has like the bandages, right? And things along those lines. I'm just telling you. Anyways, anyways, I keep digressing because there is a lot I actually like about this game. I think the combat is obviously top tier. Like no game touches this game's combat right now. And I already knew that was going to happen because I've played PGR, right? Another a viewer of mine who's also plays a lot, of, who's playing a lot of Withering Waves, um, let me test some stuff on their account back in the day, uh, like a few months ago, or yeah, last year. And I started playing PGR a little bit myself. I just couldn't quite. Couldn't quite totally get into it. It was just, you know, a little bit much at the time. Um, but this, this I like. This I like a lot. And I, I'm, we'll see what happens. I don't know if there'll be more. There probably will be more Withering Waves content on the channel, especially once I get Ching Lee. But I don't think it's going to become like on every, I don't think it'll become an everything. I don't know. I want to play more. I want to go start doing the exploration now. I want to go see what the rest of the game has to offer now. It is um, natural. So that I can enjoy the combat more, because the combat is so good. They got it right, and they got the main story right. They got the characters right. Um, originally, I was not a big fan of a lot of the character designs, but once I got into the game and I started playing, I am actually a fan of them. That was one of my biggest gripes with the characters designs of the game, is I was not a big fan of them. But I am now. Like originally, when I saw Martefi, I was like, meh. But now. Kind of like him. He's kind of cool, even in the story. Verena, yeah, cute girl. Nahida, you know, Nahida, if she could heal. You know, I, I, uh, John Sheehan still kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of mad most of the designs. Don't get me wrong, I'm still kind of meh on most of the designs. I just think that they're fun characters to play, so I end up liking their designs more. Um, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. And th yes, they're meta picks also as well, because, you know, I play meta, you've met me before, right? Um, I don't push meta on people. Play what you want, but I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I think I've talked. I've almost talked for twenty minutes straight about this, and I really, really wanted to talk like for ten minutes. So, um, last thoughts. Um, they're fixing that. Last thoughts. They have been the company of Kuro. Kuro Games has done a fantastic job of taking feedback and trying to change the game and do all these things. And it's trying to help. They've got a ton of free pulls. A little too generous. I'm definitely in the crowd. They've been a little too, a little too, here, have this, here, have this, here, have this. Please don't leave us. Please don't leave us. Please don't leave us. Like, they're a little, you can smell a little bit of desperation. And that's never a good look. Um, but I also understand, like, their reasoning behind it. And I'm not, like, mad. I'm not going to, I'm not going to really complain about them giving out more stuff. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, though, in the long run. As long as they fix, like, they can give as much free shit as they want. If they don't fix the game then it doesn't matter, right? And they're definitely making strides toward that. They're trying to fix the Echo to give people a bunch of credits for a credit issue that happened a while back. They're they're, they're fixing things. They're The game should have cooked for like six more months. I've said that. I said that earlier in the video. 
I'm saying it again, the game should have cooked for like six months to a year more. They just couldn't afford to. So we're kind of in that like live beta test phase, I feel, right? Where the game is pretty much done, but it just it just needs a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, and I think all the content creators who are making videos on the game will help it get more publicity because it didn't get a lot before its launch and this is good people want to know and we were going to talk about the game so maybe i will make a couple more videos on it i think i think they did good i i i, I guess that's basically that's really what i'm trying to say here is i think for like a free to like a, a free to play free to enter game you know free to play game visually they did it musically they did it story wise they did it combat they did it what more do you want right they even got the gotcha system right they have a lower pity count they have a guarantee on the weapon banner they gave you a free character they gave you a selector character they gave you a beginner banner they gave a sh like there is so much positive about this game that it's actually crazy right and as someone who plays a lot of honkai Star Wars, i've done a lot of honkai Star Wars videos i've enjoyed that game a lot more because it's clear to me that the developer within hoyoverse that works on honkai Star Wars cares a lot more about its game than the genshin impact um development team now i'm not going to go into the whole withering ways versus genshin impact i don't fucking care i don't play genshin impact i have played genshin impact i don't play it anymore i quit because of the grind in that game to be honest i i just i just couldn't i just the story getting through the story just was a slog and i couldn't give me a skip button i don't care anymore i wanted to play the gameplay um and yeah this is this is that, that that's about my extent of what i'll talk about when it comes to that so what more could you ask for they they they're they're listening to their community and they did all these things correct what more can you ask for that's i think that's i think that's it i think that's gonna be the end of this video i think that's that's what i'll ask what more could you ask for yes they could fix a lot of things they can make the grappling shorter they could do uh they could you know they're gonna fix the ecosystem there's a lot of things they can fix and they said they're gonna work on them and then the more we tell them about that but what what more tell me in the comments below what more could you ask for the bones of this game and even the meat on it is really good skin yeah skins skins in the future i mean kuro did a lot of skins for pgr i imagine they'll do a lot of skins for this game i don't think it'll be that hard um but not right now we don't need skins yet you know unless they need to make really make money then you make you know release a, a a bath towel skin for some of the characters or some shit like that people would buy it i'd buy it fuck it um oops hit a button um yeah that's that's what more I'm working to ask for that's that's gonna be the end of this video uh i'm i'm i keep digressing and rambling and continuing on so i'm just gonna stop there and uh let you decide whether or not you want to play the game i think that you should at least give it a shot i think if you give it especially if you give it like a casual shot um or even if you get a hardcore shot because the game is definitely there for those um i think you'll enjoy yourself i think i think if you give the game a real chance whether you're a Genshin player, or a Honkai Star Wars player, or a Blue Archive player, or an Azure Lane player, or any kind of, if you're a gotcha gamer, or you're an action game, or you like RPGs, or you just like hot, hot waifus, or hot, hot husbandos, I think giving the game a shot is worth your time. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Go back to playing whatever game you enjoy the most, right? If you're enjoying the game, don't let anybody, anybody tell you otherwise. Right? If you're enjoying the game, if you're enjoying a game, no, 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 whether it's Withering Waves, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star, whatever, if you're enjoying the game, enjoy your game and have fun. Don't let, don't let content creators and Twitter whores, <laughs> is the best way I can talk, we're talk about it, and Twitter, Twitter enthusiasts, Reddit, or Reddit, Reddit idiots, and things along those lines, tell you what is fun for you. Opinions, sure, take them into account, but don't, let it take away from your fun of the game. That's that's basically my last message. And I'll see you later. Bye.